Exceptional keynote speakers was a brainchild of myself and a dear friend of mine. Uh, she's also a Christian, a speaker. She's also an actress. And we were lamenting over not getting the speaking gigs that we used to get. There was a season that we were all quite busy with church events and different events where Christian speakers were on demand. And that's changed radically. So we were lamenting about that, and we said, it's just so hard to promote myself. We both were talking. And at the same time, we said, but I could promote you. And that sparked the idea of coming up with a speaker's co-op. So we got really busy. We spent a lot of time, a lot of money, and we created a speaker's co-op. We had about 20 or 25 well-known, some well-known, not others to be well-known, uh, signed up to be on our roster and, and operate as a co-op. But then as we really tried to function as a co-op, it flopped. People didn't come through with the commitments that they thought they'd be able to make when we first started it out. I'd spent so much time and effort and energy and money on this that I thought I just can't let it go. I can't just throw it away. So I held on to it knowing that if the day ever came that someone could help me and we could turn it into a speaker's bureau that we would have a better product. And sure enough that happened just this year. We're not even fully launched. We'll have a grand launch uh, hopefully in January of 2020. But exceptional keynote speakers is invitation only. Uh, not just anybody can join, and it's not. We've already had a few people inquire how can they join, but it is by invitation only. So when a person does make an inquiry, they basically get put into a nice little file where we keep an eye on them and we learn about them and find out if they are someone that we can legitimately invite. It's very important that we have the the caliber of excellence with all of our our people on our roster. Um, and as far as helping authors, many of the people on our roster are in fact authors. I personally like speaking. That's my favorite aspect of the ministry work the Lord's given me. And back of the room sales is one of the best places to do sales and to uh, meet your readers, which is another fun aspect. Uh, we're looking forward to what we're going to do with exceptional keynote speakers. We're very different than the speakers bureaus that are out there now. We're proactive and we have a model that's unique. So we've already, even before we're fully launched, we've already got a first booking uh, set up for next year.